What's up, everybody? It's Big Rock TV, and I'm back with another One Plus Open video. Alright, so I've had the phone for a week now. I've been using it nonstop. I have not put my SIM card back in the Pixel all week. In fact, last night was the first time that I actually turned the Pixel on. Like it hadn't even been on. It's been sitting on the nightstand by my bed next to the Pixel tablet for the past week. Like I, I have used the Pixel tablet, but this has just been off and sitting on my nightstand for the full week. I didn't use it. I didn't want it to interfere with how I felt about the OnePlus Open. But last night I did ask my wife to to tell me what she thought about the two devices, which one she preferred, at least off of in-hand feel and uh, which one felt better to her, just looking between the two. And she picked both devices up, Pixel, OnePlus Open. She picked both devices up and she opened them. She, you know, checked out the screen everything she kind of felt how they weighed in hand and she said that she actually prefers the pixel better her reason being that the pixel is a little shorter and for her hands it's easier for her to reach top to bottom boom boom with the pixel she also liked the inside display better on Pixel, which was a little bit shocking to me. That part was a little bit shocking. I figured she would like the OnePlus a little bit better because with the OnePlus open, you don't have this crease. Like, you can't see the crease on the OnePlus, right? When you open the device up and you, the crease is down there gone. All right, so I kind of felt like she would like this one a little bit better as far as that's concerned. But my wife, who uses a, a Samsung Galaxy Ultra uh, S22, S22 Ultra, that's what my wife uses. On, that's her daily driver. All right, she's not into the folding. She's not really into tech. But my wife decided on Team Pixel. All right. So what I think after a week, I haven't really got out and, you know, snapped a bunch of photos with the phone. I haven't been getting my photography game on, but I will. I will get to that and I'll probably bring you another video to tell you what I think between the two cameras. Um, but what I have done this past week is just live with the OnePlus. Just just enjoy it. Just, just use it for everything. Sit with it. You know, even using the, the earbuds, I haven't used my, my Pixel Buds at all this week. I wanted to fully immerse myself in just using this and having this experience after, what, four to five months of this device. And, man, what I can say is this is a very, very nice device, man. It, it has made me feel like I didn't have to go back. To this, I wasn't missing the pixel fold necessarily throughout the week. There are some things that I do prefer about the pixel, but the OnePlus experience has been very good for me. I feel like, for one, it feels good in the hands. It's it's a it's a good feeling phone as far as uh you know just using it, usability, opening it up, using it. I will say the first thing, I'm kind of random, but the first thing that I will say is that the OnePlus is better to use open than the Pixel is. I think this phone is more comfortable if I want to go to a site and, you know, I need to type something in, whatever the case may be, the keyboard comes up, boom, all right? This is much more comfortable to do on the open screen of the OnePlus 
then it would be on the pixel because the pixel is a little bit wider and it's the you know the keyboard is a little bit funkier to, to use you know like this all right and I get what my wife is saying she has uh, she has smaller hands I don't feel like I have giant hands I know some people said before that my hands are huge but I look at it like I can't call a basketball so my hands aren't that big but I prefer the inside display I, I prefer that I, I just think that it's easier for me to manage like this as far as it being open now when phones are closed when the two devices are actually closed and you're just using the cover display there is no foldable in my opinion that is better than the pixel fold this is just this just feels great this feels right to me this is good this is good this is really good this is better than the, the galaxy to me i feel like amongst foldables that i've used i feel like samsung is now in third place which is crazy because they are the ones that started the game but samsung is third place when it comes to foldables this is the battle right here the battle for third place is over. Samsung's got third place. But number one and number two, this is this is where the battle is. Alright? The next thing that I like, as far as the Pixel is concerned, I think the software, even though I feel like Oxygen OS and everything that's going on here is very similar. It's, just, it's, it's damn near stock Android, right? I do feel like the certain Google features are better over here, like call screening, whenever somebody calls your phone and maybe you don't want to talk to them or maybe you can't get to the phone at the moment and the Google Assistant just helps you, that's better over here. Just today, I got a whole bunch of phone calls and spam calls that I had to hang up, hang up, hang up. Text coming in, report spam, report spam. That's way better over here. I don't have to worry about that on the Pixel device. But on the OnePlus, I had to constantly stop and, and hang up the phone on the spam callers or, and move the text to the spam box. I think the Google Assistant handles that better on the Pixel. Another advantage that I wasn't even thinking about before something that I wasn't planning on considering is the fact that the combination of the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 versus the Pixel Buds Pro 2, I think the usage and the connectivity, like when you somebody's calling and maybe you don't have your earbuds in, you got them in your pocket, and you pull one of them out of your pocket to put them in and connect to the call. That's actually better on the OnePlus. And I feel like my calls were so much more clear and so much more crisp. I just got off the phone maybe about an hour ago with my wife. And my wife is currently out of town and we're talking. And it felt like there's no static. There's I could hear things in the background. Like my niece is, is walking around in the background talking to her. I could hear the whole conversation in the back, like clearly. Everything my wife said, I could hear it clearly. The phone connected instantly to the OnePlus Buds. Easy. There was no problem. It didn't take a while. It was like quick. Put them in my ear, phone was connected. Sometimes with the Pixel Buds, this connection takes a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't connect at all. And then you got to put the earbuds back into the, the carrying case here. And then put them back in your ear and then it will connect. And that gets annoying. So that's not even something that I was thinking about, you know, when I was thinking about the differences between the two phones. But it just happened. So I wanted to let you all know. I feel like... 
this setup is better. I think OnePlus wins the earbuds battle against Google there. All right. Once again, of course, the presentation uh, of the OnePlus, everything that you get in the box. Yes, you don't have fast charging or, or you don't have uh, wireless charging on the, the OnePlus. You don't have the wireless charging, but you do have the super fast charging. 20, 30 minutes, you'll be good to go. If you got a free 20 to 30 minutes, your phone's going to be charged right back up. Nothing to worry about there. And the speed at which the, the fast charging charges your phone is, is better than the wireless charging. Most wireless charging is slow. Like the wireless charging in my car, the wireless charging, the Pixel stand that I have, Unless it's, you know, like you want to sleep at night, yeah, that'll, that'll charge it pretty quickly. But I have another Samsung charger at my desk. That thing charges slow. It doesn't, it doesn't charge it super fast like the charger that came in the box with this. Even the super fast, uh, the fast charging brick that I have at my desk with the Samsung plug, not the OnePlus one. I just take it off the, the charger and plug it into the phone and this phone charges fast. It just, it's this, you know, I, it's that's, that's kind of the split decision there. I do like that I can take my Pixel at the end of the night and just home, stick it on the dock, and it fast charges. I do like that, but at the same time, I do like that the OnePlus Open charges very fast with its uh, included charger. Like, I like that. I like that a lot. So it's kind of a split decision there. Um, the big question that I had coming into the OnePlus Open was, man, like, am I going to like this phone and want to get rid of the Pixel Fold? Like, right now, the answer is no. Like, I like it. I like it a lot. But I don't think I like it enough to get rid of the Pixel. Like, I think I like it in the sense of I can use them interchangeably. But it has lived up to the hype to me. The OnePlus has lived up to the hype to me. I have enjoyed using it. I'm not about to return it. I'm not about to get rid of it. This is a great device. Arguably, arguably might be the best foldable there is. I think me using it for a week might be too soon to say, oh, this is the best, you know, foldable ever. This is the best one I've ever used. But I think it does give a lot of credit to OnePlus that after a week, I can say that the battle between the best is here. I think just saying that gives them a good amount of credit. Like, after a week, and I haven't even fully tested out the cameras. That could be the thing that pushes it over. Yeah, I've taken some pictures here and there, but I haven't really, like, I've lived with this for four and a half months. I haven't got to, you know, go out on trips and, you know, take pictures around town. I haven't really got to do that because, you know, I've been working and, you know, home life and everything. I've lived with this. I haven't really got to fully live with it after just a week. But... It is very comfortable, man. That was another thing my wife said, that every time she would grab this phone, she would put her finger right over one of the lenses, so that would be something else. She would have to have to constantly wipe the, the uh, lenses. Every time she grabbed it, her finger doesn't just go there. It went straight there. Whereas me, like I've gotten used to, as soon as I grab it, my finger is underneath the, the camera home there. On the Pixel, um, I don't even really worry about that. Maybe somewhat my finger goes there, but for the most part, I'm just holding on back. It's, it's no big deal. I just think this form factor might be a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know. These is definitely, this is the battle. This is the battle right here. Which one of these two devices 
do you really prefer? Because this is where the battle is right here. Z Fold 5, man, no interest. No interest. This is where the battle is. Which one of these two devices are better? And that's what I have to decide. I don't even know if I, I, I need to decide which one is better. I feel like I can I can just enjoy both of them. Today, I want to use the OnePlus. Maybe next week, I might want to switch back to the Pixel. Maybe I want to go around town and take this one out. I like to have that option. But I think this is definitely... This is definitely where the battle is, man. I look forward to testing it out some more. I really didn't want to make a comparison video, but at the same time, I mean, I have it right here. But I have enjoyed my time with it so far. I do wish it had some of the, the Google features in there as far as mainly that call screen. If, if I could get the call screening that this has over here, Man, that would be love, man. That would be love. But as it is, let's take a picture of Big Rock or Funko here. Uh, let's get a shot of that. Let's see. Uh, not bad, man. Not bad. But yeah, man, I'll get some. I'll get some photos going. I'll test out the camera. I do. I will say that I, I think. The inner display, not even just talking about the crease, not even just talking about the crease. I think the look of the inner display is definitely better on the OnePlus as opposed to the inner display on the, the Pixel. Not saying that the Pixels is bad or anything, but I just like the way that this one looks. The screen itself. It's better here. It's definitely better. What do you all think? Which one is more appealing to you? I kind of like that the, the form factor better here, but I like the screen better here. It is, it's weird, man. I, I, I don't like, I don't really like texting on the pixel when it's open. So usually if somebody shoots me a message, say I'm watching the video like this, and somebody shoots me a message, the first thing I'm going to do is close it because it's easier for me to text on the color display here. But in the same situation, if somebody shoots me a message and I'm on the OnePlus, I don't have to close it. I can boom, 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 boom. Look how my thumb's touching. You know what I mean? Like, I can, I can handle business here with the screen open. But, yeah, man. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot that I need to continue to test out, but I'll make sure to bring that to you. If you all have any questions, if you have anything that you want to see me test out, I can have it in the background while I'm doing my work. I have not figured out how to get the clamshell mode to work consistently over here. You see how I cut off? But then there you go. And then it cuts off and it flips to the inside. I haven't figured out how to get that to work. I don't want to see this finger poke go. But yeah, man, I'm going to continue to to mess around with the OnePlus Open. I have been enjoying it. I do like it a lot. It has lived up to everything that I hoped for. With all the you know anticipation of it in the months before it was released, this has lived up to it. So I'm excited to continue to use it. This phone is not going back to OnePlus. This is not getting returned. I am holding on to it. All right, but that's gonna do it for this one. Oh, one more thing. One more thing, real quick before I go. One more thing. I'm sorry. I think the power button the power button and the volume I think it needs to be a little bit lower on the OnePlus I like that the pixels is a little bit lower here 
it makes it easier to connect. I, I think that's a, you know, and here we are. Do I have big hands? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? My hand's huge. I mean, I make it work, but I like for the, uh, I would like for the power button and the volume marker just to be a little bit lower. So then it'll be easier to connect to. All right. See my, uh, my Memoji there, my Bitmoji there on the cover on the always on display a bit emoji but anyway that's gonna do it for this one thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you have not already thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing i truly truly appreciate it more content is on the way and i'll holler at you all in the next video peace